right, everyone. Well, um, it's about five of nine here. So as we're sitting down this morning, we don't really have a lot to work with yet. Um, we're getting some momentum on a couple of energy stocks, HUSA and INDO. Both of them are on lighter volume. You know, both of them have big, well, INDO especially has big spreads. INDO, you know, does have room, but it's just hard to trust. HUSA has more volume. Uh, that one's gonna be a little more trustworthy, but they're still both a little tricky. So, you know, trading energy stocks has not always been super easy. And the thing with this, who says that it's already up quite a bit, right? It's already gone from 660 to 726 without much of a pullback. Now it did pull back a little bit, kind of like right here and a little bit right there, but it's getting extended. Um, so, you know that creates that creates risk for sure so that might be getting to a place where we get a little bit of a pullback um, looking at USO United States oil fund moving up but uh, you know at the same time you have this real disconnect with these stocks because they peaked in March when USO peaked and then USO has rallied back up. You know, it sold off, but then it rallied all the way back to the new highs. But the stocks haven't followed that pattern. They haven't gone back to the new highs because these they were they were overbought. They were irrationally strong. And then once people switched focus, they came back down and they really haven't recovered. So on days like today, you know, you're seeing little little pops, but we haven't seen so far that they've been sustained. So aside from a short-lived pop, they haven't been sustained. And I think that makes bullish traders naturally a little bit more cautious. And I think it's probably gonna make short sellers a little bit more aggressive on these. So until we have one that really holds these types of levels and, and opens up, I think they're just gonna be a bit too risky. So, you know, I did get a trade on, on Husa on the break of seven dollars and you know it was fine a small little base hit whatever but i just don't know that i'm going to get any uh, really nice trades on on either of these and indo is um you know it's made a pretty big move there from eight to nine that's a full dollar a share so you know it's the type that i will sometimes gravitate towards but the volume is light, the spreads are big, it's below the 200, it doesn't have standalone news. And I just think that that all is a recipe for uh, a big loss on a day like today in this type of market. But we still have hope for news at 9 a.m. It's about 8.58 right now. I, I don't know that there's a lot of hope, but we can be hopeful that maybe there'll be some news at 9 a.m. So 90 seconds till 9 a.m. You can see INDO is highest volume actually on a red candle here. SONM is our leading gapper. So if we're you know, gonna think about what's obvious today, well, leading gapper is certainly worth looking at, but it's an 85 cent stock. Second leader is KAVL. Uh, it's, a, it's also a fairly cheap stock. This one's below the volume weight average price right now and below the 200 moving average, uh, according to my uh, charts. I don't really like it, mostly just due to the price. And actually, when you look at the level two, you can see how thickly it's traded. It's just a slow mover. Uh, you know, HUSA, it's more thinly traded. This is the type of stock that can move faster, for sure.
Okay. So there's 9 a.m. Yeah, Husa does have a daily that's a little bit more interesting, uh, but you know, I, I still just don't know if it's going to be able to hold up and make a bigger move. USO popping up. Yeah, and I'm not going to trade USO. It's a bit too expensive at $90, but I can watch to see how the move in USO has an effect on other energy stocks. So who's uh, the high was 29. You've got high volume coming in here, which is good to see. There's 30, 33. Thirty-three on Husa, thirty-four, thirty-five. So I think given, I'm gonna take a starter on INDO here because with HUSA being strong, I think we'll get follow through on INDO. So watch INDO through 
10. I'm going to scale in here, adding at uh, 68 for the breakthrough $10. This is the type of stock that we know can make big moves. So let's see how much it wants to move. Add it at 75 there. Now you've got 90 on the ask. Gives me a chance to take a little profit. New order is at 90. 10,000 share at 80. Taking a little profit at 80. A little more profit at 10. New order added at 10.05. Now looking for 10.15. Booking a little more profit on this. HUSA moving not as high, much higher. So this was a um, entry here for the breakthrough nine. And then I add as it moved higher. Holding 877 shares. The high of this candle is 10.16. Watching for a dip, added 81 to buy the dip for the break back over $10. So you've got 90 on the ask, 95, 98, and there's 10. That's the goal. Profit. New order is at $10.16. Added at 10.04, profit 10.22. We'll just keep trading the range. High of this candle is 10.30. Added at 10.30, now looking for 10.50. There's 40 or 34. New orders at 45. Added at 42 on INDO. We'll see if we get the break of 1050 and then move up towards 11. There's 48. Profit at 42 and 45. HUSA moving higher as well. High on HUSA is 38. HUSA could leave an order at 40. So we'll mark the high as 48 on INDO. Dip at 40, bought the dip. Looking for the break through 50. There we go. These are gonna be quick trades, get in, get out, book some profit, not looking to overstay my welcome. Watching dips, waiting for a pullback. The VWAP is at 982. So red candle forming. Some people are probably short around this area for the pullback down towards VWAP. High of this candle is 1050. We're coming down to the 20 moving average here. on the 10 second. Bought the dip on INDO at 10.10. Looking for the bounce off of VWAP and a move up to 10.25.
watching an ad off of 9.89. Added at 10.03. Now watching 10.15. There you go, there's 1020. Can we get 1025? Flat for now. VWAP is uh, this orange dotted line. Another dip at 10.01. These are just going to be small gains, smaller uh, share size. Bottoming tail candle, high is 10.15. Reminder as always that trading is risky. My results are not typical. You shouldn't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. Added at 10 right there. What's interesting on the level two is you're seeing 10.63 as the next order. So that's making me think that this might squeeze back up Watching 10, 25, and 35. Bought the dip at 10, 12. Looking for 10, 25. Flat at 10, 09. We'll keep an eye on USO and HUSA. We're churning a little bit right here in this area. Dip at 97. Looking for the pot back up to 1005, 1015. There's 1007. So a little bit of a bottoming tail candle again. Flat at 10.01, small gain. So one of the problems with small trades of, you know, like a thousand shares or two thousand shares, you know, I do that ten or fifteen times, and you know, each time I press the buy and sell button, and each time I'm churning those shares, I'm racking up commissions. So I have to be a little careful on that. Added at ten o two, bought the dip for the retest of, uh, oh, sorry, eighty two, looking for the retest of uh, ten. So there's 97.98, that's a profit opportunity. Now we'll see if it reclaims $10. Ninety-three on the ask, 96, 97. So a decent little trade there from 82 up to 95.
They don't have to be home runs. The small gains add up. Thank you, as always, for those tuning in this morning. Nice reclaim of $10. Good job for those that bought that dip there off of 80. Added back at 15. Now watching 23, 28, nice. So we have to be a little careful. That's a pretty high volume green candle, which is good to see, but um, we just have to be able to manage risk. The high of this candle is 33. I'll put my new order at 33. About 13 minutes to the opening bell. So high, <clears throat> high volume candle there, but then dips down on lighter volume. That's a little interesting. CLR is higher priced. All right, well, we've got about 10 minutes to the opening bell here. Uh, we ended up getting a couple of nice trades on INDO, small trades on HUSA, and we'll see whether or not we get more opportunities today. Pleasantly surprised that I got a couple, but had to be a little aggressive as it was squeezing higher. KOLD, I believe, is an ETF. Yes, it is. Natural gas ETF. I'm not going to say it's not a big move, it is, but just be aware that it's a natural gas ETF. So energy is moving up. And this is going to be, you know, worth keeping an eye on for opportunities as we continue through the morning. So for those tuned in on YouTube, thank you guys for being here. I'm going to end the broadcast a little early and trade the rest of the morning for uh, Warrior All Access members. I'll upload a recap a little bit later today. Uh, and thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. And if you want to learn a little bit more about my pre-market trading strategy, I'll put a link uh, up there in the corner that you guys can check out. And I want to remind you, as always, that trading is risky. My results are not typical, and I encourage you to take it slow. All right, looks like we've got some opportunities, so let's keep focusing on trading. 